Hello, Cancer. Welcome. You guys are ruled by Cancer. <laughs> the crab. You guys are ruled by the moon. My calm, domestic, imaginative, introverted, intuitive, moody, quiet, protective, tenacious, cancer people. What's going on, guys? I'm just kidding. I'm just trying to build my vibration so I could tune into the non physical. That's how I do it. That's how anyone can do it, actually available for anyone who cares. Again, if this doesn't resonate, that's all good. Leave it for someone else. You know, don't put any negative energy into it. Just listen, watch, or don't. I'm not going to ask you to subscribe or like any of my videos. I don't really care for that. All I want is to incorporate my truth and healing to the world, to society. Because that's what my calling is. So I'm inside my closet right now doing readings. It feels great. All right. What do we have for cancer? What do they need to know right now? Mama, help me out. See my boy, how you out? They have my side. Pisces or Scorpio and Ten of Cups to me that's like um let's see it's uh it's like something being fulfilled right like you're fulfilled with something when I see kids I think of you so perhaps perhaps it has to do with something nostalgic or um just ch children maybe <laughs> The Page of Wands. So I already know we got Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries in your reading. All right, what do my Cancer peeps need to know right now, guys? Let's go. Yeah, make a story for you guys. Huh? That's what the cards are saying. It's not me. I have removed myself out of the equation. It's nothing to do with me. And I see you, and I'm gonna pull you out because you want to be pulled, Mister. When I see the Emperor, I think of. Someone practical, someone who's mature. I think of a male energy. You peach, you wanted to get out. No, oh, that was a fool. I see a dog, and I think of um, a loyal friend, a little helper. Perhaps you have a spirit guide. Cancer. And zeros, the full cards, are, those are all about new beginnings, you know? Doing things by yourself, doing things without knowing, just going for it, following your heart, which is... And that's what you should be doing. Hierophant, that's wonderful. You guys going through anything religious right now? You had a change in belief in something? Out of all cancer? Is that something that resonates? The chariot. Communication. Okay. Alright, so we got the Ten of Cups, we got followed by the Sun, followed by the Wands, followed by the Four, followed by the Five of Cups, followed by the Hierophant, followed by the Chariot, and followed by the Four, Five of Swords. My apologies. Alright, so what I, honestly, what I'm sensing right now, what God, the Spirit wants me to tell you, is that there's a lot of youth involved, there's a lot of nostalgic moments, there's a lot of thinking about the past, thinking about others, thinking about how you could uh, forgive others that hurt you in the past, right? Or maybe, because that's what I see with this cups, with this, uh, with this five of cups card right here. I think of, um, I think of a, some kind of emotional loss maybe, or, um,
I don't think of that. I honestly think of harmony. I think of you just, you know, giving... I think of, um... I think of transformation. That's what I'm getting in my head. You know, if you take a look at this card, you see here that he has like some kind of sense of defeat. He's being like sneaky. Maybe someone's being sneaky with you. Maybe you got an Aquarius or Gemini or a Libra sign that's being super sneaky behind your back right now. They're just like, hey. Because if you notice, he has all the swords and everybody walked away without a sword and he has this like off, awful look on his face. Right? So when I think of five, I think of uh, change and instability. I think of some kind of conflict, cancer maybe. And then you have one, two, three, four, five major arcana cards. So this is something that you need to pay attention to, something perhaps that's um, significant. Um, you got the page of wands. Pages are all about intellectual. They're all about uh, starting a journey, perhaps starting a new project. Um, that's what I'm getting. And then when the wands are all about Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, they're all about intuition. They're all about expansion, ambition. Um, and yeah. yeah, Cancer. I mean, I see a lot of. Um, I see a lot of fulfillment, you know, especially with the Ten of Cups and the Sun card, Cancer, which is really positive. Got a lot. You got a, a male father figure in your reading. Um, also, I see the Hair Font card, which is a card of wisdom, which is a card a card of, of of having faith, you know, and in your truth. So now I'm going to clarify these with my other deck. Am I cancer, my quiet, protective, sensitive? going on with the five of swords why did we get um gemini aquarius libra in here and these are all about um, mental they're all about being trapped in fears cancers are all about um they're surrounded by thoughts ideas maybe something difficult an obstacle right a decision that you had to make and that is in regards to this you know to to um, to um a sense of defeat right so you were just trapped in fears in, in regards to that and this could be with a, a Gemini with a Libra or an Aquarius perhaps The page of wands What's going on with the page of wands I like the wands Because it's going to clarify Clarifying the page of wands And what came out is Patience and Polani And this, this represents business It represents Material gain or loss Or maybe security of some kind Right? So we're clarifying the Page of Wands, guys, and the Page of Wands are started of a new project or a new beginning, right? So that's what Spirit is telling you, to have patience in planning. So whatever project you guys are talking about, you guys are working on, Cancer, have patience. That's what Spirit is saying. So we just clarified that card, and it makes complete sense to me. I love working with these cards with divination tools. They honestly, they work. And spirit, this is the way how I, this is how I communicate with my guides and my spirit. This is my radio, these cards, which is quite fascinating. 
I got a partnership and alliances, and I also see the number three. I think of growth. I think of creativity. This is a card surrounded by... This card represents hmm, a spark of life, maybe some kind of inspiration, some kind of spiritual force, or willpower, passion, or maybe some kind of aspiration. Maybe watching this video, perhaps it just... No say it, it just sparked some kind of light, you know, in, 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 your, in your mind. And I don't know, just gave you clarity, gave you that insight of what you were looking for. I just saw the number 10 at 10. So perhaps something, some kind of end of cycle of cancer? I'm being told to put this deck away and look into my oracle cards. I'm going to grab one oracle card for you really quick. What do they need to know? How can I close this reading for them, spirit? We got going forward. We got change. Gateway. Intelligence. You got protection. inner peace. Fascinating. I love these colors. I love those fish too. And what I'm going to pull out for you is a prayer card. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. And I think I just read this for the last reading, but hey, there's a reason. Love you guys.